What's up, YouTube? It's your boy back with another banger, man. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to start reselling sneakers in 2021. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do go down below, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the like button if you do find any value in this video. Now, to start off, what is reselling? Now, reselling is when you get any type of item that can basically flip. So, say I buy a PS4, which is really hot at the moment, for $400 retail. You know what I'm saying? On the market, it's going for about $800, $750. I buy it for $400, I sell it for $800, and I get the $400 profit and just keep reinvesting and keep buying more items in order to build my capital and build my income. Now, as you keep repeating this process and you keep reinvesting money into your sneaker business, your money should grow exponentially and very, very quickly. Now, today's video, I'm gonna break down the basic steps of how to get started and how to make the most amount of money doing so. All right, guys, so when you start off, I will recommend starting off with at least $500, you know what I'm saying, as a minimum, because you do need some money to start in so you can purchase the shoes or you purchase the item, whatever you're trying to purchase, you know what I'm saying, so you can flip it. Now, the average shoe does run around anywhere from $170 to $220, so you're gonna need a little money to start off. I recommend starting off with $500 so you can at least buy two to three pairs of shoes and you can gain more money that way. Now, I also recommend having a job on the side so you can have some income coming in while you're doing this once you start off even once you do get pretty deep into this business i do recommend having a job until you can fully support yourself off of the income that you're making off of shoes now another thing you're going to need when you start reselling is a spreadsheet now this is one of the most essential essential parts of reselling you need to keep up with how much money you're making and what shoes are going to make you the most money what shoes are the most hot what shoes are people buying the most you know what i'm saying i'm gonna pop a picture up in my spreadsheet right here i've already made 12 spreadsheets for each month of next year 2021 basically you just want the name you want the sizes uh how much you bought them for how much you're gonna sell them for and basically you know how much profit you're gonna make and when you do this you get to break down what shoes are making you the most money and what shoes are getting bought the most so you know which shoe has the most demand now if you don't have a spreadsheet you can lose track of how much money you're making if you're making any amount of money at all now i was doing this when i first started reselling i was making money but i was i was losing it some type of way because when i was reinvesting it i guess i wasn't reinvesting it in a good product and then i would lose money on that and i wasn't keeping it tracked so if you keep all these transactions and, and deposits tracked you know i'm saying you can keep track of your money and it'll make it much more easier for you in the long term now you also want to study the market now a good place to study the market is stock x you know and i hate to say a lot of people hate stock x you feel me but but a good place to study is stock x so what you want to do is you want to go to the shoe go to the graph all the way at the bottom look at the prices see how the prices have fluctuated over time you know what i'm saying if they've grown if they if they went down because if you see this you see where the demand is at in the market so say for example you're going for a jordan mid and you don't know if people actually want this shoe you know what i'm saying you don't really understand the shoe market that much make sure you go to stock x because if you look at all means means are kind of i give it to means are kind of coming up a little bit but I would much rather go for a Jordan 1 high than a mid because those do have much more demand, especially just based off of the graphs and all the analytics based on StockX. So to sharpen your mind around this market and to sharpen your reselling skills, I would go to StockX, study these sneakers, study which sneakers do have the most demand, what sneakers are going for the most, what sneakers have the most growth over time, you know what I'm saying? And that will make you much, much better in this business. Now it is basically four categories to reselling, you know what I'm saying? Four ways you can really do it. The first way that is very, very good when you're first starting off, you don't have that much money, is when you clean a shoe and then you sell it. So basically, you're restoring the shoes. So basically, you can go on OfferUp, eBay, Facebook, buy used shoes. They're beat up, you know what I'm saying? Nobody wants them. They're selling for the low. Say, for example, somebody selling some Jordan 11 Concords, $60. They're beat up. Soles are yellow. The fabric is, is yellowing, you know what I'm saying? All you got to do is buy those, bring them in, buy some paint if you need to, restore the paint job, buy some sole ice, ice the soles that you feel me clean the whole shoe up get it all pearly white again put it on instagram put it on wherever you want to sell your shoes put it up for say you want to put it up for 200 you know what i'm saying that's under retail put it up for 200 and that's a cool 140 dollars profit that you made restoring some shoes now the only bad part that comes with restoring shoes is that it is very time consuming so if you do have more time than you do money to spend you know what i'm saying i would definitely go to restoring shoe route build your capital up so you can start buying shoes for retail now one of the most prominent ways in this market is buy. now myself personally i don't buy i got people that I can pay to buy for me but i personally don't buy because you know what I'm saying? I haven't had enough time to really sit down and try to wrap my hand around bots like that and integrate it to my computer all that. But bots aren't guaranteed to get you pairs, but it does increase your chances greatly because basically 
Essentially, you have multiple people on one platform, one space going for a shoot. You don't really have multiple people, but that's what it's like. So you can have 40 tasks running and 40 tasks is basically just like 40 different people going for the same shoot. So it, you know what I'm saying? It increases your chances by however many tasks you are running for that shoot. But however, you can do the same thing manually. It's just gonna be much, much harder because you do have to make all the accounts manually and watch them manually. But a bot just does this automatically on its own. It just checks out, does all that automatically. You don't have to click on it yourself. So this is why bodies do have a lot of influence over this market and over this business. Now, another way a lot of people make money in the reselling market is selling bricks. Now, bricks are basically, say, you buy Air Forces. You know what I'm saying? You resell them now. I've never personally done it, but I've seen multiple people that make so, so much money off of buying bricks and reselling them. But what they do is they have plug links. They have people that can give them discount codes and they get the shoes for under retail, way, way under retail. And it gives them a good margin to sell and resell to the market. I know people that get Air Forces for $30 and they resell them for retail price. And you just be thinking like, dang, how are they making any money? They're reselling it for retail. Trust me, but they're making money. You know what I'm saying? $60 per pair. If you buy 100 pairs, it's already $6,000. Easy. You feel me? So that's how brick sellers make the money in this industry as well. Now, lastly, one of the best methods to do when you are starting off is selling used sneakers. Now, used sneakers, like I explained in the first one, is when you buy a beat up sneaker and you can resell it. But sometimes you can buy used sneakers and they're still in pretty good condition. You know what I'm saying? People just want to let them go because they're tired of holding them in their closet. So if you get your hands on a good used pair that doesn't need that much restoration, you know what I'm saying? You could just take it in take some pictures of it real quick and flip it out get that nice profit now another way to up your reselling game is joining discord servers now at first i wasn't a part of any discord service well i was a part of discord service but they were really low tier you know what i'm saying it wasn't really giving you that much information it wasn't really worth my time so i, I it, was, it was cheap too it was like five dollars a month or something like that ten dollars a month but now i'm in one of the best discord servers i'm not going to give the name out you know what i'm saying because we don't have any sponsorship but you know maybe in the future but make sure you guys do join a good discord server my boy tyrone had me out with that he got me he got me hooked up in the right group you know what i mean but make sure you guys do join a good discord server it will help you out a lot they will provide you with links uh reset predictions they'll provide one-on-one -on -one help sometimes you know what i'm saying it just depends on which one you join but make sure you guys do join a discord server it will up your game a whole lot now you probably wondered how do i get my shoes now i get my shoes for resale on the sites that they drop on so just say some jordan ones are dropping i try on sneakers i try on all the foot sites foot locker foot action champs etc i try on all those you know what i'm saying and um since i've been doing this for a a, a little minute, you know what I'm saying? I got a little experience on these sites and how they work. And on foot sites, generally, you do have to be very, very persistent. You, you really can't give up on trying to go for these shoes because you're going against bots, you're going against pros, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get their hands on these shoes. It's a lot of people trying to go for the same shoe at once. So you do have to kind of get some experience in the in the game and try to see how these websites work and how you can and how you can kind of get through loops, you know what I'm saying? But we're not going to talk about that because I ain't, I ain't, trying, to, I ain't trying to tell you about no loops or nothing. But, but yeah, make sure you guys do get experience and don't don't give up if you don't cop on the first try. Just keep trying, just keep gaining experience and you should be good in the long run. Now you can buy sneakers on OfferUp, Facebook, eBay. Make sure you guys are just very, very careful when buying off of places like this. I recommend buying retail. I recommend buying just retail sneakers off the website. If you're buying used sneakers, make sure the buyer is trusted. Don't buy from anybody that doesn't have any reviews. You know what I'm saying? It's not trusted. Don't do that, bro. That's stupid. You're probably gonna get scammed. Make sure you guys have a black light. Now places to sell. It's a lot of places to sell at when you are reselling sneakers. Um, but in my opinion, these are some of the best places to sell. So I'm gonna go over the list right here. StockX, Go, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, OfferUp, and Instagram. Now StockX and Go are kind of like the same type of marketplace. Um, but they do take some fees out. So this is the only kind of doing that. They do take fees out when you do sell on StockX or GOAT. So just keep your heads up for that. But in my opinion, if you had to choose one out of the other, I would choose GOAT over StockX. GOAT is much, much more translucent and much more easy to deal with than StockX when you're trying to resell sneakers, in my opinion, because the shipping is so much quicker. They send your money out so much faster, you know what I'm saying? Especially with holiday delays at the moment. I remember I shipped the, I shipped the PS5 in and it took three weeks for me to get my money. It was just sitting on the dock for like two and a half weeks and i got my money after like three weeks so i recommend go go send your money out and get some shipped over here in two three days four days it's very very quick now the next place i would recommend selling is facebook marketplace now the good thing about facebook marketplace is it doesn't have any fees so once you meet up with the person and they buy the shoes from you you know what i'm saying you get out of there you get your money it's quick like that you don't have to worry about any fees and the only bad thing about facebook marketplace is you you know so you might get 
you could get beat up if you do meet up with somebody. You know what I'm saying? I've never, I've never got into a confrontation with anybody on a meetup. I've never had anybody not trying to pay me the money on a meetup. So that's just my good luck. But there will be people trying to scam me. There will be people trying to give you fake money. So make sure you guys do have a counterfeit money pin. I have a counterfeit money pin. So basically, you get the dollar bill. You draw a little line through it, and if it turns black, it's fake, and if it stays clear, then the dollar is real. So that's one way that can help you out when selling on these markets in Facebook Marketplace. Now another place to sell on is eBay. Now eBay, just just stay clear of a lot of scammers as well i mean try to make your sales to where it's automatic pay you know what i'm saying so you you're the least likely to get scammed because it's a lot of people that have tried to scam me on ebay they come in your messages you know what i'm saying they say give me your number don't ever do that bro I'll offer up any but don't ever give me your number they always try that but just a lot of scammers but that is also a pretty good place to sell as well now offer up is kind of just like ebay you know what i'm saying lots and lots of scammers but you can make a good amount of money selling on offer up as well if you do meet up locally i win I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend shipping because shipping fees are very, very high. So I would only recommend doing local offer up sales, not shipping. And lastly, Instagram, bro. If you guys do not have an Instagram page and you're trying to resell, make sure you guys make an Instagram page. It will help your business grow greatly. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to resell sneakers, it will help you grow exponentially. One of my boys, Ju, you know what I'm saying? I met him when he was at like 100 followers and he met me when I was at like 200 subscribers. And that, Bro, my boy is at like 1,500 followers on Instagram. It's, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy how we've we've grown over time like that. But you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. Make sure you guys make an Instagram page. It will grow your business and it will grow your clientele very, very quickly. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video on how to start reselling sneakers 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I hope you guys, you know what I'm saying? I wish you guys the best of luck when you do try reselling sneakers. Let me know how it goes in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you gained anything from this video. You know what I'm saying? It's been your boy, and I'm out.